Hi guys, my name is Elle and today we have another Project Pan intro and this time around it is the Pandal's eyeshadows So yeah, let's just jump right into it If you hear some noises in the background, it's just my boyfriend he's sitting right behind the camera in the next room and he's gaming with some friends he's living his life and I have to do my stuff at the same time so if you hear some noises I'm sorry but yeah we're living a bit tight these days so yeah as I said this is the Pandos eyeshadows project pen that was created by Alexander Schoestern Schoestern she's from Sweden she's known as Alexi and yeah, she's an amazing, amazing project planner. I will have her link down below. Um, if you haven't heard of her, then you must live under a rock because, yeah, everybody's doing this project. And I'm not sure what my hair is doing. Yeah, I have three rules. The first one being that I will only have four shadows in at a time and that's because I will do two eyeshadow projects next year and those will be pretty dang hard yeah and there will be a lot of eyeshadows involved so for the time seems to be enough I might change it, we will see. And I know there's a lot of people that are doing the rules about using a shadow 30 times before they can decide to roll it out or keep it, but I'm gonna do 40 times because I know I have a lot of shadows that takes a lot of time to use, many times to use it to hit pan and I would really love to give those a shot to actually hit pan um, so yeah, 40 times for me seems fair and then I will have this project won't be I don't have a stop um, a finish date Mine will just keep on rolling, so for each year I will have four vetoes. So if I do roll in a shadow I know I don't want to work on, I can just skip over it. So yeah. Uh, and this time in and place I have 524 eyeshadows. I'm waiting for one more eyeshadow palette to come in the mail. But that's only five shadows. And yeah. My pan percentage at this time is 19.85. That's both um, eyeshadows with pan and eyeshadows I have finished in palettes, but I haven't finished the palette in, in itself. So I have a hundred and four pounds total. So yeah, I have pre-rolled my four shades and yeah, it comes from three different palettes and my list is organized by the eyeshadow names and not the eyeshadow palette so it's a little bit more random randomly picked so I have the first palette I have two shades out of it's this Jeffree Star um, cremated palette and it's just this white, grey, black palette 
and I've got two shades out of this and I actually haven't looked at the shades yet but I've got the shade Wednesday and Obituary and that is Obituary is this down here and Wednesday is this up here so it's just a transition shade and maybe a liner or maybe an auto V could be good um, I have only swatched those before oh that's quite blue actually so yeah these are the two first colors this is obituary and that's Wednesday Wednesday is a little bit patchy but I can make it work then the next shade is actually from one of my newest palettes and it is from the Natasha Denona bronze palette and I got the shade True Copper, which is, oh, let me just see if I can figure out how to hold this one there. That's True Bronze. True Copper is this on the top here. It's a really stunning shade and I have yet to use it on my eyes. And that's that shade. Maybe it will go nicely with Wednesday from the Jeffree Star palette. And then my fourth and last shade is from the Jeffree Star Blood Sugar palette. And I know exactly what shade this one is. And it's another cool tone one. It's the shade O positive and that is this shade here which is a great transition shade actually and yeah as you can see I have depotted this shade because this packaging is so bulky it's just easier to sometimes de depot the shade So yeah, this is all positive. So that's our first color story. It's kinda crazy, kinda cool tone with the copper shade. I'm actually really glad I got so many mattes because I use more mattes than shimmers. So yeah, we will see how this one goes. I will have updates monthly and usually I will have update on the first of each month but I know that in January this might get pushed a little bit um, to get some other videos up earlier in the month so yeah thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one bye